Welcome to the Tick Mill Update. My name is Kenna Danielle, the founder of the Investiva Movement. On Wednesday, we found out that the mortgage applications to purchase a home in the U.S. increased 7% for the week. And they were also 7% higher than a year earlier. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson raised the prospects of a multi-billion pound cut to a payroll tax. And we also found out that the euro area financial stability environment remains challenging. On Thursday, we had the Eurozone, the OECD Economic Outlook, the ECB Account of October Policy Meeting, and the National Consumer Price Index for October. Uh, Bank of Canada's Polis is also scheduled to give a, a fireside chat in Toronto. Today, I'm looking at the Euro-Dollar pair, which has recently broken above the daily Ichimoku cloud, with the Tenkan line also crossing above the Kijun line. While the future cloud remains bullish, we still don't have the final Ichimoku Kinkohio confirmation, which is the Chico span breaking above the cloud. The bullish momentum has slowed down a bit as the pair found resistance at the 61% Fibonacci tracement level of 1.108. The event risks from the remaining of the week could make or break this new bullish trend. So we will be on a close watch out. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tick Mill YouTube channel. I will get back to you with more updates tomorrow.